in this example, I'll be performing a fatigue analysis of this built-up structure. Uh, we're mostly focused on the seam weld portion, uh, connecting these two structural members. Uh, full details of this example are located in the PDF linked in the video description below. In addition to that, there is a file you'll actually need, and that's also linked uh, in the video description. So let's go ahead and start Patron. And we'll go ahead and create a new Patron database. Um, usually I like to keep all my files in just one folder separate from everything else. So I'll give this database a name, model.db. And then I'll go ahead and import that Natron file I just mentioned, uh, ttub for now. And uh, you'll see where I get the ttube uh, later on. So here's the model and the first thing you'll notice if we go back to shaded um, here, smooth shaded, you'll notice it looks like just one complete uh, model. It's hard to differentiate uh, what is what. What I can do here under utilities group and then under groups from properties, I simply click apply and I'll go ahead and create uh, multiple groups where uh, the structure member is lumped in one section and so on. So let me go ahead and go back to the model browser and click refresh. And now I see the end update of all the groups that are in there. Um, what I want to do now is actually color each group individually. So let's go ahead and do that. Under utilities, go back to group and group color. And then click on manual and then select. So for the first three sections, I'll color these red. And if I click shade it again, You see that the other structure members are now red. And now for P shell 4, that will be the throat. So I'll color that yellow. And you notice it's sort of hard to tell the color right now. I can improve that by going to display, light sources, get this new form here. I simply just select all of these ambient directional all the way to 3 and hit apply. You see the color stands out a lot more than before. Click cancel to close this form. And we're still in the group's color form. Let's go ahead and go back to, or go to prop shell five. We'll color this one yellow too. And then for prop shell 11, which is the toe, we'll go ahead and color this one uh, magenta or pink. And then for the prop shell 22, which is inside, we'll change that to cyan, which is uh, already that color. And that, by the way, is the root. So let's click cancel on that form, click cancel here, and click cancel here. So let's, we should have just the analysis tab open right now. And let me just go ahead and unselect um, all the other groups. If this form comes up, uh, feel free to select any other group. So here, let me click on the throat, hit OK. Uh, what that just did was it made that the current group. Uh, if you try and hide this one, it's going to ask you to find another current group. So here, let me just switch back to the toe here. And so that's what I have right now. You can uncheck these and see that this is um, our toe, this is our root, and then this is our throat here. And click shaded if um, you ever wanna look at these uh, colored in. So let's go ahead and start with our materials right click and show properties. You'll see we have a stress life uh, constitutive model, but you'll notice one thing, the material is incorrectly typed in. It should be 4,000, so let's go ahead and fix that. Right click on material and modify, and then simply type in 4,000 here. Hit okay, click apply here on the right to update the material. Now let's go ahead and jump into the properties, uh, namely the First one being P shell 11. This one is representing the property for our toe. If I scroll down, I'll want to make a modification here. So under weld type, click fill it. Under weld location, I'll indicate this is the toe. Hit OK and apply. Under P shell 22, let's go ahead and do the same thing. But this time, we'll go ahead and make this one the root. Hit OK and apply. Then we'll jump to P shell 4 and then this one will be our throat. 
click OK and apply. So once we've updated the properties, we'll go ahead and jump into our analysis tab so we can start creating our um, analysis essentially. Click analysis deck here and make sure it says analyze entire model analysis deck. Type in the E here so we get a T tube in the end. Under solution type, Let's go ahead and select linear static for solution parameters. Click on fatigue parameters. Uh, leave this the same for the most part. And here on the left, we'll want to turn on seam weld. So check on run seam weld analysis. I, uh, let me just refer back to my notes and see if uh, we have to update anything here. It seems everything is uh, left as it is shown here. Click OK. Under result output format, make sure OP2 is checked so our results will end up in an OP2 file. Click OK here and here, here again. And now we're done with solution type. Let's go ahead and click on subcases. Now this is a very uh, detailed step coming up. Click on this subcase, FX equals 394 SC1. You'll see it automatically selected this subcase. Click on output results. You'll notice that fatigue is not part of our results that will be created at the end. So let's go ahead and add that to the list. And you'll see once I click on fatigue live here, it's added to the output request. If I want to remove it, click delete, and then um, that's how that works. Right now, we want to make a special enhancement to this request. So under form type, let's go ahead and select the advanced option. Under type of include data, let's go ahead and select groups. Uh, we just want to consider a few groups here. One, the throat, 11 being the toe, and 22 being the root. And then we'll click OK here and hit apply to confirm this uh, overwrite of the previous subcase. And we don't have to go to the next subcase and make that modification. Uh, whatever happens in this subcase happens to the other ones, at least when it comes to fatigue analysis. We'll go ahead and cancel this, and for subcase select, we'll make sure that we remove default from this list. So click that, and it's gone. And we'll go ahead and add this subcase and the second one. Click on Define Fatigue Load Sequences. Here we'll go ahead and select this uh, only just the subcase, so FX equals three nine four. Time history, um, this NAS trial model already came with the field, so we'll go ahead and add that here. And then here in load sequences, we'll right click and add new sequence, right click and add events, and we'll select this one event, apply, and here it's been added to the list so far. At this point, we're done with this form. We can click OK, hit OK here and click apply to create this NASTRAM BDF file. So if we go ahead and open the folder, you'll see the T2 PDF or BDF was actually created. We'll have to make a manual modification to this NASTRAM input file. So let me open both the new one and the old NASTRAM file, the original T-Tub. And let me move this one to the right. What we'll have to go ahead and do is first copy these this section, so it'd be the tome seam nodes and the tome, the root seam nodes. Copy. Scroll right or scroll down until you find the section in T tube where you find the end of the quad element list. And then you'll know you'll be at the end when it's quad four, and then you have your node point starter grid points. Um, Add it here after set one, just hit return or enter on the screen. Make sure the cursor is all the way to the left and paste it here. So before we just had set one, two, and three, now we've manually added set 202 and 302. We'll then have to go ahead and uh, add the toe seam nodes to the proper row here. So the ID is 202. So let's go ahead and do that right now. So let's go ahead and highlight three spaces and paste it here. Uh, rather, let me undo that and do it in manually. So you'll want to make sure that you do this uh, where you preserve the spacing. So make sure the, the fillets are lined up when you do this. So 302 for this one. And again, make sure everything's lined up with the fillets at the minimum. And let me close the old file. 
and click save so now this is part of the file and it's to show you again um, if we scroll down to the end of the quad element list we'll see that uh, in addition to these first three sets we now have these two sets 202 and 302 and we've added it here, here to the corresponding rows so 202 for the toe and 302 for the root and then we'll manually start Nastran point it to this BDF file ttube and hit open and run so we can go ahead and analyze this once that's done we'll go back to Patran we'll select attach output to you see access results out to attach output to result entities usually I have to manually find this op2 but here since we're still working in the same folder I can just click apply and it will go ahead and uh, retrieve that file under the results um, click on fringe we don't want a deformation plot we just want to see the fringe plot under result cases select t tube scroll down until you find log of damage and then hit apply and then we don't want to show the throat so simply unselect uh, this group zoom in and you can start reviewing uh, log of damage and if we return back to the PDF that is indeed what we get and then a few other things you can view too are uh, log of life of repeats, I'll show that in a moment. But here, just to compare, we see that we have a maximum of 5.49 and a minimum of 1.01. 1 .01. So that's why we get 5.49 and 1.01. Last thing I want to do is show you the log of life of uh, repeats. So we'll click apply there, and that's essentially what you get. And that essentially concludes this example.